how can you represent all the possible outcomes or sample space of a compound event? Think about this question during the lesson. Haley has two sisters and no brothers. Josh has two brothers and no sisters. They wonder what the chances are, in a family with three children, that the children will be all boys or all girls. How can they determine all possible combinations of boys and girls in a family with three children? The first step is to list the different events. How many events describe a family with three children? Select your answer. The three events are the births of the three children. Each child is either a boy or a girl. This is an example of a compound event. A compound event consists of two or more events. This compound event consists of three events. Our next step is to make a tree diagram to represent the sample space. The diagram begins with child one, who is either a boy or a girl. That's two outcomes so far. For each outcome for child one, there are two outcomes, boy or girl, for child two. And for each outcome for child two, there are two outcomes for child three. The tree diagram shows all the possible outcomes of the compound event. For example, we can follow the branches on the left side of the diagram, which shows the outcome of a boy, then another boy, then a third boy. Label this outcome BBB. Haley and Josh can make a tree diagram to show the sample space of boys and girls in a family with three children. The sample space has eight equally likely outcomes. The chances that a family with three children has all boys or all girls is two out of eight, or one-fourth. That's more likely than I thought. Now you know how to represent the possible outcomes of a compound event.